In my last video I showed how I made the frame to install this window. In this video I will show how I made the window, how to install the welded wire mesh, the hinges and the lock. First I meter cut the end of the four strips I will use to make the window. Now I measure the opening between the styles inside the frame. And I mark that measurement minus one millimeter in the first strip. And I measure the opening between the rails inside the frame. And I mark that measurement minus one millimeter in another strip. I draw the cutting line. And I cut both strips. Now I will use those strips to mark the other rail and the other style of the window. And I cut them. Well, I had to mark them in the other side, so I can cut them with this meter saw configuration. Now I use a strap clamp to dry fit the strips I've just cut. I make sure I have a perfect rectangle. And I measure the inside opening. And I mark that measurement in another strip. I cut it. I center it. And I make some marks in the end of the strips and in the styles. That way it will be easy to put them back in the right position. Now I drill a couple of double holes in both ends of the strips. And I use double centers to mark where to drill in the styles. And I drill the styles. And now I can glue all the pieces. I clamp them. And I let the glue dry. Now, because when I cut, I made sure I didn't cut too much, the window doesn't fit inside the frame. So I will cut it all around. And just to see how the meter joints look like, this is the part I could see while clamping, not too bad. But in the part I couldn't see, they are a bit ugly. Well, I am not very skilled making meter joints. Then I will use my circular saw cutting jig. And I will cut just one millimeter all around the window. And now I can put the window inside the frame. And I'll be able to open and close it without any problem. But first I will put some wood paste in the meter joints, just to make them look nice. And when the wood paste is dry, I sand it. Now I set the table saw fence to cut something like 5 squares of that welded wire mesh. And I cut those thin strips. And I joined the edges. Now I set the height of cut so I can cut something like two and a half squares of the welded wire mesh. And I set the fence to cut half the thick of the disc in the outside face of the strips. Like this I will cut a rivet to fit the welded wire mesh.
After meter cutting these strips, they go like this in the window. So I drill the guide holes to attach them to the window. But before installing the welded wire mesh, I will reinforce the meter joints. So I will use my homemade table saw splaying gear. I thickness that thin board until it fits in the grooves. And I mark the triangles I need. But I cut them some bigger, and I glue them inside the grooves I've cut in the corners. When the glue is dry, I cut the protruding parts of the triangles. And this is one corner before sanding it. And this is one corner after sanding it. So I sand all the corners, and I sand all the parts of the window. I also sand the strips I will put on the welded wire mesh. Now I mark where to put the full mortise lock. I mark the position in the edge of the window and I use a straight router bit to root the mortise I need to install the lock. Now I use a cutter to cut the wood all around the lock faceplate. and I root the faceplate mortise. Well, to finish the faceplate mortise, I must use a chisel. And now this lock fits perfect. In the link in the description, you can watch in more detail how I install a full mortise lock. I measure and I mark the position of the keyhole. And I cut the keyhole. Not nice, but it is okay like that. Later I will put there the scutcheon. But first I apply a couple of coats of wood protector. And when the wood protector is dry, I staple the welded wire mesh. I decided neither to paint nor to varnish it. Like so, when needed, I can apply directly another coat of wood protector. I make sure the staples don't protrude too much and I screw the strips on the welded wire mesh. And I install the lock.
Now I have to cut there a rebait. I had to cut it so I can put the scutcheon in the right position. I insert that first screw. But to insert this one I must cut it so it doesn't bump into the lock box inside the mortise. And I use a thin drill bit to make an ugly mortise so the latch can lock the window. I must be careful, because it is very easy to break these thin drill bits. So I must be patient and work carefully. But I am pretty sure there is a better way to do this. Now here I also have to cut those rebates so I can put the hinges in the right place. So I put the hinges in the right place and I screw them. Now I just have to check if I can open and close the window, and if I can lock it. But actually I don't know when will I install it in the shed. Thanks for watching. You can find a lot of woodworking videos in my channel in YouTube. And if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.